We are here at Zen Production Studio, representing Urban Expressions. I am here with the lovely Summer Angel, the queen of dance hall. I have a few questions I want to answer. Uh, how did you get your name, Summer Angel? I actually get my name from um, this guy in New York. He was my producer when I was at least 13, 14. He had a sound called Love Angel, and he just throw the summer in. Actually, my name is Summer Love Angel, but we just, you know, break it down to Summer Angel. That's very catchy. I am an angel, though, so, you know. You are. You love Uh, How did you get the title, Philly's First Lady of Dance Hall? Um, I did a show in 2000. Um, four or five and it's the promoter from new jersey i was on a show with um elephant man i guess everybody know him and stuff and the promoter put my name on the flyers as well this is philadelphia's first lady because i don't know of any other female in philadelphia that's really doing reggae and really taking it serious as i was so that's how it came up and about you know then i carried the name since meow which is me have no fear <laughs> i love when she does that how long have you uh been singing I've been singing since I was born, actually, because my dad, he was with um, Tony Curtis and all them singers from back in the day in Jamaica and stuff. But, so he kept putting me on stages and Beanie Man and, like, you know, they all was around me because he was raised in the same home as I was. So that's how I got singing because I saw everyone around me singing. I grew up doing it. Wouldn't you do it if you just, your dad and everybody in the house was doing it? Absolutely. That's how I started. Uh, who encouraged you? I guess that probably be who encouraged you to do music, and um, who do you look up to? I look up to like Lady Saw, you know, um, Mac a Diamond, people like that. Michael Jackson, he's like my favorite performer. Like he's the greatest of all times. Everything with Michael on it, I want. But really, I even look up to my, my myself, my kids. They inspired me to want to do better as far as a musician, so we could bring home some cake and pay the bills, you know. <laughs> So, and inspired from, like, God, like, you know, he's the only one that really inspired me to get up and do what I'm doing. See, not only beautiful, but also smart, too. You guys don't know. You just don't know. Uh, do you ever get stage fright? Um, actually, you get, everyone gets stage fright before getting on the stage because you never know what you're going to do, what's going to happen, if people are going to like you, if you're going to mess up. So, everyone do. Yeah, I do get stage fright. How do you get over that? Uh, once you get on stage, you got to get over it, you know, because you got a job to do and you got to do your best and give 100%, you know, Absolutely. that's it. That's it. Uh, are you dating at the moment? Ooh, juicy. Uh, yeah, I'm dating about 25 guys, I think. <laughs> it's like, no, I'm not. Well, I am dating at the moment, but I don't have the time to really go out on dates. I talk on the phone with a couple guys, but it's nothing major. All right. And uh, what kind of guys do you like? Um, I kind of like real skinny, tall, bone-legged, chocolate, pretty teeth, handsome, smell good, chocolate brother with a nice cut. That's the kind of guys I like. And I like all kind of guys, but that's really what I really, you know, go for. Somebody tall and handsome, dark, pretty. He sounds tasty. You know? Mm. <laughs> Um, are there um, some other entertainers, entertainers that you like to perform with? I should ask that again. Who are some of the entertainers that you would love to perform with? Um, I would love to perform with um, blah, 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 Usher, if I get the chance. I love him. He danced like Michael. He's the only one out there now that acts just like my man, you know? And um, anyone I get the chance to perform with, actually. I mean, it's always a pleasure to work with somebody else that I haven't worked with before. No, that's it. Uh, who are some of the uh, people featured on your album? Oh, my album. Um, actually, it just, just came out a couple months ago. Slice of Heaven. Um, I have um, Major Mackerel on there. I have Shano. I have El Fico. I have uh, Cherry Poet, Mugs. It's like so many people. Jaway, my, my good, good friend. And so much people on there. I can't even remember. Demas from my label, Wildfire Records. And it's uh, Lukey D. We got a special on there with um, Trey Songs that's selling like crazy. Ringtones are going crazy on there. So go check the album out. It's called A Slice of Heaven. It's on CD Baby. Go to Verizon, buy ringtones, do whatever. Hit me up at Wildfire Records. Have no fear. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, are you and Beanie Man uh, really brothers and sisters or what? Um, we're not brothers and sisters, you know, but we are brothers and sisters, like, you know, not blood-wise, but, you know, my mom helped raise him when he was a kid. He was always at our house, and, you know, she looked, he looks up to me as a little sister, and I always call him my big brother, you know, wherever we are. We're brothers and sisters by heart. Not really, but by heart. Very good answer. Uh, an artist, right? You can't just be one way. You got to keep changing because it's just like Madonna. She came out, she did something, everybody want to do it. So I always try to change up and see if my fans or whosoever's looking up to me is changing up as well. That's when you know you're doing something right. As soon as you change your hair, somebody else changed their hair in the audience. So I do it just because I want a different f flavor. So I give my audience a different flavor. Every time I go out, somebody don't, they, a lot of people just walk by me because they don't even know it's me because my hair be black or red or blonde or something and then they like, somebody that you? I say, yeah, it's me. What's wrong with you? Look, it's me. It's just a different wig or something, you know? Just keep changing up. Oh, I love it. Things you always change, look beautiful. I change. Oh, I love it. You're so beautiful. You really do. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, yes. Would you uh, like to show uh, your viewers your outfit uh, that you inspired? Actually, I designed my outfit, mm -hmm. and um, I got the shorts on. It's a top to it. It's a shorts. It's like yellow at the top, and, you know, a little diamond here. And stuff. Check it out. <laughs> it's like I'm playing. I just like to play. It's beautiful. Yeah. Um. You know, I'm working on. I'm working on. I'm writing this movie that Zim Production was supposed to be writing, but I don't know what happened. Hello. Um. I'm finishing it up like in another two, three weeks. You know, I haven't got the chance to really sit and just keep doing it. But I've been writing, and I hope you know we'll do something big with it. Hopefully, somebody if Jim if Zim doesn't want to do it, then I will have to go elsewhere. Hello. <laughs> so yeah, I, I design, I do music, I write. I'm doing everything that I could do as far as a young black woman. I just don't want to sit. I don't like to sit around and just sit there. I like to get up and do stuff. You know, stuff positive. Got to do what I got to do. Now, where are where are some of the places uh, you've performed? I've performed here in Philly. Um, I've performed in Jamaica. I've performed in New York, um, Washington, Jersey, Delaware, here. You know, anywhere I could be performed on, that's where I'm going. You know. Miami? No, no, I never. I was on a show there last year, but I never got the chance to go there because I was working. So, you know, got to do what I got to do. I see you have a, uh, I see that you have a tattoo. What does it mean? Um, my tattoo, right? Um, I was um, a young girl and my, my, um, my kid's dad, he put my name on his arm, like a whole, my real name, Sakita, he put it on his arm and he was upset that, oh, I'm walking around with this thing on me and my friends are saying I'm stupid for doing it and this and that. So I went and I put this little initial on my arm right here with his name on it. And I didn't, we kind of broke up, and you know, once you break up, everything has to change. So I went ahead and did something over it, and I just keep adding to it. And it turned out to be a rose on top of it with spines and all type of other stuff that I don't even know what's on. I don't even know what it is, right? And I also got a tattoo on my thigh. It's an angel wings with feathers because I was in a car accident, and I was trying to cover it up. So I put some wings, like, for guidance on it. That's it. I don't have any more tattoos, though. Do you have a tattoo? No, I don't have a tattoo. I have to try that. It looks sexy. I don't know. Tattoos, if you a kid out there with no tattoos, do not go out and get one because it's, it's something you stuck with for the, like, the rest of your life. It's not something cute. It may look cute at the moment, and the thing, it might be nice on you, but when you grow up and out there in the world, you're going to be like, what the hell did I just do to myself? Like, You know what I'm saying? So don't get no tattoos. It's a bad thing. Uh, a summer, by any chance do you have a video coming out or anything? Um, I brought you guys one. We, um, I would love for you to air it once this is over. Um, it's called Treat Me Right. It's one of the hit songs on the album that everybody seemed to like, so I went ahead and just did it. Um, Zim Productions did it, and you was there, so I don't know what you asking me if I got an album out for it. <laughs> anyway, I mean... <laughs> It's a everybody seemed to like it. It's been getting a lot of play, and it's in, we we got it in New York playing. We got it over in Miami. We got it on the internet, and people just it, it's just taking its time, like rotating and um just traveling. So, I just hope you guys like it. You can you should check it out. Treat me right by Summer Angel. Have no fear. Meow, it's me. <laughs>